Hello, printmakers. Back again. Um, I had a great question from Kelly about her inking with her reduction print. And I've sent you a lot of um, films about reduction printing, but they never talk about this. And it's the, it's the way that as you're printing, the ink is building up in layers and it's getting thicker. And any funny texture that goes down in that first layer is sort of, um, sort of uh, migrates through to the next layers. I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm talking about. And uh, if you're not noticing it, if you're not having the problem, awesome. <laughs> That's great. If you are having the problem, I'm going to give you just a few tips on how to minimize it. But it's a real, um, real difficult thing that just sort of occurs when you start to stack up the layers of ink because relief ink is actually fairly thick. One thing that makes it a little easier is a press. But when you're hand printing it, you know, you're going to get a little more of that texture. So I'm telling you that both sort of so you can hopefully not be too frustrated when you have it and also to know that that's sort of the nature of these um of these relief prints when they have multiple printings on them when you get into uh you know more and more color layers on it doesn't really sound like i'm making much sense let me switch to the other camera and then i can um i can show you what i mean here we go okay now you're probably not even going to be able to see it from that distance, which is kind of my point. Uh, I'll look at some other ones too. There, there, it's this speckling, right? It's this sort of, it, it reminds me of the way when you try to fill a big area with a crayon. All that wax uh, sits on the paper. It kind of um, sits higher on the bumpy part, the higher up parts of the paper. It doesn't go down into the lower bits. The more and more you push, you know, you can kind of like dent the paper trying to get crayon. You know, I'm thinking of just children's crayons down in there. Um, and it has a kind of a like, you know, spotty uh, kind of a texture. And when you put another layer of, of crayon on there, the wax that's down below hits, you know, gathers more of the next color or the next layer. And it kind of um, gets... It doesn't, you can't really remove it, if that makes sense. It just sort of increases. Uh, so I want to talk about this because it may be something you run into, and I don't want you to be frustrated. This is a print that, this is a, a proof, it's not finished, um, but I want to talk about it. Okay, now this side. I, I actually had this br brilliant idea. <laughs> you know, uh, some of us just can't ever do it the simple way. I had this idea that it could be like a kit, like that you would cut this bit into cards, right? See how they're kind of based on cards. And this little dash line was supposed to be the cutting line. There's some instructions printed on the final ones. And then I wanted the back to have a reference to, to cards, two to hearts. So it was kind of a Valentine's um, fortune telling project that I had. Uh, all right, so. Um, Let's look at this side first. Now, I have mentioned before that sometimes I find the the plate, the linoleum, is a little, I don't know, sterile. So I went outside with mine first and kind of like smashed it into some um, dirty asphalt. So some of the scraping, I like shoved it along. I put into the plate intentionally. These are actual marks I did with the, with the gouge, right, with the tool, because I wanted it even more a little, I don't know, beat up looking. And then I cut out these hearts, but this, this tiny speckling, and I'm going to try to put this a little closer so you can see it. Yeah. Look at that light. You know, I think I should turn the light off. Oh boy. Hold on a second. Technical problems. There we go. That's better, huh? Uh, this, this sort of thing where it's, the ink is not coming into contact with the paper. And these, these are kind of large. As you can see, yeah, they're nine by 12 plates and I was hand printing them. I wasn't using the press. You know, this is the kind of thing you would get is there would be little speckles of white paper showing through. It's just something that happens with relief print. You can see it over here a lot more. You can, you can add more ink, but of course, the more ink you add, the more you might fill in some of your detail that you actually want, right? You want to try to put as thin a layers on as you can. You, you know, you roll out your ink so it's not making too much of a smacking noise, more of a slight hiss, and keep building up the layers slowly on the plate. 
that'll help a little. And then, you know, use a fair amount of pressure. Now, I also want to explain that I am not a person that gives up on things easily. And it was really bugging me when I was putting my third color on here that I was getting this kind of thing. I think I did the light color last here. And you're going to notice that it's really not, <laughs> you're probably thinking, what is she even talking about? It looks fine. Or maybe you're not thinking that, but, you know, it was bothering me that I would get this sort of texture there uh, that wasn't completely covering the, the underneath darker color. Now, one way that I could have avoided that is by using the lighter colors first. Uh, that's, that's one way to minimize that. But still, see how I'm getting this kind of, you know, um, speckled appearance, right? I printed these a lot. And there, I mean, there was an addition of about uh, 18 or so. And I printed them a lot trying to solve this problem. And I had a, uh, I had, you know, I was bringing everything on it. I would use the Baron, then I would use a wooden spoon, then I would use a metal spoon. Um, and basically, I, I kept going back to my print instructor and saying, hey, what can I do about this? And she said, well, you know, if you've tried more ink and you've tried more pressure, you, that's it. That's all you can really try. Um, so like I said, let's, let's recap. Put the ink on as thinly as you can without without giving up completely on opacity, right? And remember that any texture that's down in the first layer is going to be sort of magnified or continue in the next layer. But also remember that this quality, this kind of, you know, uh, what would you say? You know, the speckled quality is the quality of, of a multi-layered relief print. It's not really a mistake. It's not a problem, it's a, a feature, of, if you will, of this kind of printmaking. And generally, at any kind of distance, you tend to have the color kind of um, blending optically, like in an impressionist painting, and you don't even really notice it. I have a couple of these, these aren't, these are mine, so they're not the best, but I have a couple of really nice um, uh, reduction prints at school, and when I get them out and show people, they always just see the beauty of the piece and they never notice this kind of thing when I show it to students. In fact, I don't usually even mention it because I don't want people to be discouraged from trying it, that it's a little bit tricky or that you might get frustrated with the way the ink behaves. Um, so, you know, my, my, my ballroom dance teacher was always saying, she would say, don't do it this way. And then she'd show me how not to do it. And I would sometimes think, I don't think she should even show me the bad way because uh, or the way she didn't want me to do it. Because whenever someone shows you that, it's like, you can't help but do it that way. And then I would get confused. Wait, which was the right way? Which was the wrong way? There was something to do with, um, one of the things was to do with, with how you hold your foot. It's very important in ballroom dancing to hold your foot certain ways. And one way is not right. And I think that that's sickling kind of in. And the other way is sort of a more of a ballet shape. And that's what you're supposed to do with your toe. But once she showed me the wrong way, I was always in my mind a little unsure about what, uh, which was the right way anymore. So that's just more information than you need. But this one here is just one that I just slapped down very poorly. You can see it's, um, <laughs> it's not at all registered well. But I had an idea because I was doing it in two colors. You know, I did some in the dark red and some in the pink. I thought, well, I should see what they look like together. But this gives you, the reason I wanted to show you this, is this gives you a great example of that kind of speckle uh, that's coming through. See, can you see that there's just like a light pink over a red? And you can see that it's, you can see a little of the red, right? If you look very closely, you can see it there too. Like the pink is just not really hitting the white paper very well. And you're getting a lot of speckle there. Let's put that even closer. I hope you can see that. Uh... Yeah, I, I worry that, that this is hard to see on, on your monitor. I apologize if, if it just looks like red and pink and, and you don't have any idea about what I mean with the speckling. I think people that are trying to print multiple colors are going to know what I mean. And you should know that this is a certain amount of this is to be expected. I tried and tried to eliminate it and I decided it really couldn't be eliminated. And that is what my instructor also said. So back to... The regular view. Uh, so I just wanted you to know that, that um, more pressure would help, a little less ink than you might use. 
and the smoother you can kind of get your ink applied and that'll mean when you're when you're rolling up with ink the more ink you have the less pressure you have to use right and so it can be very appealing to sort of put a lot on there but in the case of adding more layers you're gonna get a pretty thick buildup pretty quickly right so try to think a little bit less on the ink and a little more pressure and uh what else can i advise you oh and then try to roll it on thin and use extra pressure and again remember if you're using a lot of pressure or you're using a um you want to use a harder barren tool so that could be a jelly jar it could be the back of a metal spoon uh, it could be that you have a very hard barren, and that's fine. If you have like a, the hard plastic one, that's fine. But if you have that one that's a bamboo leaf, that might be a little soft, right? You might need to go over it first with that one, and then secondly with, with a metal spoon. That would help. But don't forget, put, put your plate down. Everything's in disarray here. I can't find a plate. Anyway, put your plate down first. Uh, put your paper your paper that your print is going to be on and then get one more piece of paper of some kind to put on top of that. So, because you're going to be doing so much more, um, printing, baroning, rubbing, you might uh, damage your, your print paper and you don't want that. So just put another piece of paper in between. Okay, great. Anyway, I'm really excited that, that everyone is trying this. Um, and I hope you're not getting frustrated or discouraged. And I'm going to send this film out right now, just in case people are getting frustrated or discouraged. Thanks for tuning in.